This morning, I was getting dressed, putting together my outfit, and I put this skirt on and I could not stop itching. And it looked so cute on too. I was so upset. At first I was like, I can handle this. I can get through the day. And then no, let's face it. This skirt needs a lining. And who just lines the butt of a skirt? What about the rest of this skirt? It needs a lining too. So today I'm here to show you exactly how to do that. You can use this technique on any skirt that you find anywhere that needs a lining. Let's get started. So I thrifted this skirt because I love the red boucle wool. It is gorgeous, but I don't have a pattern to just cut out and sew up a skirt lining. So we're gonna have to trace this out, add some darts, and make sure the lining fits back into it perfectly. So to create a lining, we need to basically reverse engineer and pattern draft this skirt. Now my skirt is symmetrical, it's basically the same on the front and the back, so it's gonna be pretty easy. But anywhere you have a style line or a change in shape or silhouette in it, you're gonna wanna use the same process of laying it out flat and tracing it out and adding seam allowance. And I'm gonna show you how to deal with those tricky darts up at the waist. So the first thing you wanna do is lay out your skirt nice and flat so you can see the seams on it. And now what I wanna do is find the center of it because we actually only need to trace out half of it because we can place the pattern on fold so that way it ends up symmetrical. So right here at the hips, it looks like it's 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a mark at nine. Now I'm gonna use that line to draw a nice straight line down the center of my skirt. Okay, now that we have a line down the center of the skirt, we can start tracing. Next, if you have a pinwheel, grab it, or if you have an awl, you can use that, or you can just use a pin as well. What we're going to do now is basically trace out the pattern piece through the fabric of the skirt with our pinwheel. I'm gonna start by going down center front so what this is doing is putting little holes in the paper below, so that way we have something to trace later. I'm gonna go at the bottom of the waistband, which is gonna be really important. Sometimes you gotta press pretty hard, and this is not going to damage your fabric, so don't be afraid about damaging your skirt. Maybe if you have a fine silk charmeuse, could be a little tricky. Wherever you have the dart, I want you to go ahead too and just mark where the sewing line is for the dart so we know where to position it later. And now what we're gonna do is go through the seam that you see. So don't trace the outside. Um, I like to go through the seam so that way I can make it nice and precise and then we'll add seam allowance after. Keep it as flat as you can till you get to like a bulky intersection here. Just leave it because we can true that up later with the rulers. And now you don't want your lining to the very bottom of the skirt. So you want it to end right where the fold of the hem is, right where this lace hem tape is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go right through that line there. Okay, now we hope we pushed hard enough and now we get to remove the skirt. So there are a bunch of little dots in the paper here. I know it's really hard to see and the camera's probably not picking it up, but what we're gonna do is true up the line, which means we're gonna straighten it out. So I'm gonna line up the ruler with this straight edge here and draw a nice pencil line right where the dots were. So this right here is gonna be our center front and center back of the skirt. So I'm gonna label that. Now we're gonna come across and do the hem here. There we go. Now we need to do the waist. Now right here, it looks like this is dipping down and I can't really see what was going on. So we're going to trude up with the rulers how we think it should be, how it should look on a pattern. I'm just gonna put this mark here right now for where the dart goes. I'll show you how to add that after. And now we've got this nice curved line in the hip here. So I'm going to use this curved ruler to draw back in the hip curve. Now we have our pattern trued up. We need to add this dart to the skirt. So I know where my sewing line is. And now what we need to do is measure the dart. So we are going to measure the dart. So it's a half inch wide and it's four inches long. So now we're gonna come over here and make this line four inches long. And since it is a half inch wide on each side, we are just going to draw this dart in. But it is not just that simple. After we do this, we need to extend the waist an inch. So we've added an inch here for the dart to create shape. And now what we need to do is come back over here add an inch and blend into the hip here. 
There we go. So now when we take in the dart later for sewing, it's going to create the shape of the hip for us nicely. Isn't that cool? So that's how you deal with adding darts to a pattern that you're creating from tracing out a garment. And if there were three or four darts, you'd go ahead and do the exact same thing. Next, we need to add seam allowance. So grab your two inch clear ruler and let's add half inch everywhere except center front and center back. And why a half inch? Well, it's just an industry standard. You could add more if you want or less, totally up to you. So I'm lining my ruler up with half inch at my pencil line and we are gonna draw on the outside of the pattern. And just as a reminder, center front and center back are on fold, so we don't need to add seam allowance there. Next, we're gonna fold up our dart and make sure our waist is nice and smooth with that dart in there. So basically what we're doing is creating the dart underlay and pattern drafting. What I like to do is take my awl and I'll drag it along the dart leg that's closest to my center back or my center front. And then what I'm gonna do is fold it upwards. Flip it around for you. And now we're going to smooth it out, fold it over to the other dart leg. I have a really thick paper, this is a little tricky. And make sure it's nice and smooth. So you can see how this dart is going to create shape in the skirt. Now you can see right here that this is coming to a point and I would want to keep this rounded out just, just a little bit more, just like a tad right there. And now when we cut it, with this extra piece of paper facing towards center back or center front, we're going to get the shape of the dart by the waist. And you're gonna see what happens here. There we go. So now this little extra piece is added above the waistline and this has created the shape for our dart underlay when we're sewing. Now I just need to finish cutting out the rest of my skirt. There we go. Now we have a skirt pattern for our skirt that we can cut out of our lining fabric. Wasn't that easy? Now we have a lining for our skirt. So now let's say your skirt isn't symmetrical like mine was front and back. All you need to do is trace out all the pieces that make up your skirt Make sure you add seam allowance to all of them so that way you can sew them all back together. If you're enjoying how to add lining to a skirt, make sure you subscribe to Sew Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. Now let's get back to putting that lining in the skirt. I'm going to be lining my skirt in this super cozy soft flannel that is not itchy at all because it is so soft and cozy. And now I can finally wear the skirt. So let's start cutting the lining out. So I have my pattern laid on fold and I'm gonna cut around the outside of it. This will give me the front and then I'll lay it out one more time for a back panel piece. While I have my pattern on my fabric, I'm gonna clip into my dart legs about a quarter of an inch. And then I'm also going to push the awl through the tip of the dart so that way it makes a little hole on the fabric, and then we know exactly where to sew up our dart. Now that we have our lining pieces cut out, we're gonna sew up our darts and serge our edges. And if you have any questions about sewing up darts, make sure you check out my video on that. And if you don't have a serger, you can totally zigzag or overcast your edges to finish them off so they don't fray and fall apart. So now we have both of our lining pieces prepped and ready to go. We are almost done with the skirt. So now we've got our lining prepped and we've got our skirt that needs that lining. So now we have a few more steps left to get this lining in that skirt so it doesn't itch like a bunch of bugs in your pants anymore. So now I'm going to sew up the side seam and leave one side open because I have a zipper on my side seam. If you have a center back zipper, go ahead. So if both of your side seams leave the center back open. Now we're gonna attach the lining to the skirt. And when you place this on the wrong side of the skirt, make sure the right side of your lining is faced out. So that way the seams are facing the other seams on this skirt. So I'm going to place this right here. You're probably wondering, how do we sew it to the skirt and make it look good? Well, Normally, I would remove the waistband flap here and stick the lining up inside the waistband. 
This skirt was created by sewing the seam and flipping it to the front and this fabric itches. So special situation here. I'm actually going to pull the lining fabric up to maybe like a quarter inch away from the edge of the waistband. And then I'm going to pin it. And then when we stitch, I'm actually going to just go back over this top stitch that's on the outside of the skirt. And you will see a seam in here, but it's going to keep it together. So when I pin this, I need to pin it on the outside so I can remove my pins. So what I'm gonna do is line it up where I want it on the inside of the skirt, flip it back and put a pin in the waistband, make sure it's where I need it, and then just work my way all the way around the waist. Now you're gonna end up with extra fabric by the zipper, you want that. We are going to deal with the lining and the zipper after this. If you have some side seams or darts or style lines, make sure you're lining the lining layer up with the self layer. So that way your lining doesn't twist or pull funny. Now we have the entire waist pinned. We're gonna go over to the sewing machine and stitch right over that edge of top stitching that's already in there. Always make sure you take out your pins before you get to them. It's also a great idea to engage your needle down button if your machine has one. So I have the lining on the inside of my skirt attached at the bottom waist here. I left this lining piece up further because I've got an itchy waistband too. So now with this extra flap of fabric, I'm going to sew it down and just do a little edge stitch at the top of the waistband. You could also hand stitch that down, or like I said before, normally you can take the lining and put it up under the waistband if you don't have an itchy skirt. So you can see I did that stitch on the top of the waistband and it's holding that top piece of the fabric down. And yes, you can see that stitch on the outside, but it looks really nice on this waistband. Now we need to deal with the situation by the zipper and then we're done. Now what we need to do is find out where the lining ends at the end of the zipper here. So I'm going to lay this nice and flat here. I've got my edge of the fabric turned under and I'm going to mark right here. You can also take a pin and put a pin in this spot as well. And you're gonna to wanna to do this on both sides. So that way we can make sure it lines up. Now what we need to do is flip it inside out so we can create a seam. Now what we're gonna do is sew from the bottom up to that pin. So now we have the seam below the zipper nice and sewn up. So you can see we've got that together here, but now we've got this opening here for the zipper. You could leave it technically, but I'd like to sew it down to make it nice and clean. So we're gonna fold under the edge of the fabric, keep the lining that you have about a quarter inch away from the zipper teeth so that way it doesn't get stuck in the zipper teeth when you're zipping it up and down. And just go ahead, pin this down nice and secure all the way to the bottom and then we're going to hand sew that up. We're gonna hand sew this up because I don't wanna see stitches on the outside of my skirt by the zipper. Time to sew. Whew, and we're done. We are all done. Now we have a cozy lining in our skirt. So let's flip it back right side out. You never know we did anything to it. And now we no longer have bugs crawling all over in our skirt when we wear this wool skirt. Let's review what we just did so that way you can do it too. First thing we did was trace out the skirt to make a pattern. After we made our pattern, we cut out our lining pieces, we sewed up our darts, we searched our edges, sewed together a side seam, and then we attached it to the waistband on this one with two stitches. After that, we hand sewed down the lining by the zipper, and then that's it. We are done. We have got a lining in our skirt now. Here it is, and it's so comfortable now that I can actually wear it. And could we just take a moment to look at this fabric? It is amazing. 
It's a beautiful red boucle and I love it. Such a find at the thrift store. And you can use the same process on just about any skirt that you have. Obviously, every garment has its little nooks and crannies of how it needs to be put back together or lined. But overall, this is the process that you're gonna wanna use to line your skirt that needs lining. So no more itchy winter skirts over here. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this video. Leave a comment down below and let me know. Have you ever lined anything that's already pre-sewn? Do you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share? I'm sure everyone would love to know. So leave that down below as well. If you enjoyed the video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave that comment down below. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today because I make all of these videos for you guys. And don't forget, you can take sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. Check those out at SewAnastasia.com. And big news, it's coming this spring. We're gonna have the online Sew Anastasia Sewing Academy. So keep an eye out for that this spring. See you later. Bye.